going on everybody it's kelly with the way we go 2.0 and uh airstream globe trotter fans old and new got a couple of posts on uh, the globe trotter site about uh, bluetooth connectivity and about um, how you can get different devices to come through <clears throat> on your television and one thing that i'm known for probably infamously not famously is uh, cords and electronic crap that usually is on the uh, for sale uh, shelf or whatever but anyway i found a way to uh, connect uh, in my case roku stick or if you get amazon fire stick or both you know whatever you can connect a satellite uh, television uh, a configuration in there uh, your satellite dish and your bluetooth and everything else and have it all come out on your television here in the cabin and uh and i think even the bedroom uh, yeah i think yeah you can you can watch it in the bedroom as well uh, especially with roku for example because it's a uh, an rf remote control a radio frequency remote control instead of an infrared remote control uh, and the primary difference uh, from my very lay uh, knowledge and experience but the primary difference is uh, infrared has to see the eye like it's you know like the old school point and click it has to see the device it's controlling whereas radio frequency is literally just a radio signal that goes out and as long as you're in generally good range and conditions it'll change the channel that's the one where it's like you don't have to point and click you can just kind of hold it and point it and click it the tv's over there you're pointing that way and it'll click it because it's a radio transmission radio signal and what have you so um I'm going up here in the Airstream. Let's see what we've got going on here. I'm going to pause this and switch the camera angle. All right, so what I've got here is uh, we've got a DirecTV satellite here, and I've got the Blu-ray down here. We just don't use Blu-rays, uh, just never really got into it for whatever reason. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them, and, and I guess this works. I've literally never tried it, and it's only there for... You know, I guess if we ever did do Redbox and things like that, but we just don't do Blu-ray. We either do the uh, regular satellite television, uh, I'm sorry, the regular antenna television over the air. Uh, some sites have, uh, uh, you know, cable uh, input, or we uh, just stream something over the internet. So this is what we've got, this little device here. And by the way, I put a bendable plug over here in this corner, six socket, and, uh, this one doesn't have it, but some of them even have USB connectors. So I've got that there, and it fits rather snugly under this box uh, that comes uh, with the, the Globetrotter, not most Airstreams, I think. So this is the controller for the um, uh, outside satellite antenna when we're using it. This is our little DirecTV box here, and, um, and then this is the Blu-ray. So what we do to connect it all together is we use this little USB router switch thing. So you've got one coming in and I'm hoping this focuses a little better than what it's doing. Yeah, I lost you there. I'm hoping I can get it to focus a little better. Anyway, I'll put a, a link to it down below, but it's a little dot and uh, it, it can require power. I think I go ahead and plug it in just so that it can power some devices. But it's got basically an A, B, and C input and then an output. So it gives you, let's see, three input devices, I believe it is, and one output. So the output is obviously to the, uh, to the television. And then I've got uh, the satellite coming in. I've got, uh, I think the Blu-ray comes in and then the Roku stick and they're all powered. And all I have to do is click a little switch here in the center and it clicks it over to the A, B, and C, which on your TV will show up as HDMI 1, 2, 3, and 4. They don't have it powered up, but this is a way you can do uh, Roku sticks and things like that without having to worry about plugging things into the back of your television. It's up here, it's out of sight, it's out of mind. Additionally, uh, if you want to take the, uh, oh, what do you call it, that uh, Apple Flash uh, adapter, someone uh, mentioned on here before, uh, you can do that. Additionally, we've got a little wire ran over. Well, here it is. Da -da -da, perfect timing. Uh, we've got a Pantronics little deal here. It's uh, HDMI, and then it goes into that little side flash thing on your, if you're using a Mac. 
and then the same configuration will work if you're hooking up to a PC. Uh, just plug that in and you follow the cord around and it goes into there, uh, into one of the things there. So we've got the Roku satellite and in our case I can use our laptop uh, to watch videos or, or if you want to display uh, your mirror, your computer onto your television for bigger viewing and, and things like that, <clears throat> you can do that. Another thing we use here on ours, by the way, is are these uh, oversized rubber bands. Um, I'll put a link to them as well uh, in the video. But these help keep the uh, television in place as well as the refrigerator. We don't have it uh, on right now, but just kind of uh, lock them in back there behind the, uh, the frame, the bracket. Let's see if I can pull it out a little bit. We've got it so that it doesn't, but you can see I've got it situated so that it goes around and down then behind the bracket here it kind of puts a little bit of a tug on it maybe five or so pounds worth not a whole lot but it helps prevent that swing out and then these are easily tightened uh, down there got one for the refrigerator which i should have open i do normally have open it must have closed but uh, so it doesn't get all funky in there when we're not traveling but this is it here just uh, loop it around up there on the cabinet and I've installed a command strip uh, hook down here. You come up, you close the freezer, you close the refrigerator, bring this down, snaps into there, and you've got a way to prevent your refrigerator doors from swinging open while you're traveling. And trust me, boys and girls, it will do it. Uh, these latches, I don't know if they wear out over time or, you know, again, it shake, rattle, and roll back here. So you got to give it, cut a little slack, but. Uh, so I do this on the, uh, the refrigerator, the television, the back refrigerator, and I apologize I didn't turn any lights on back here, but I've got it on that uh, uh, cabinet there as well. We go across the top and just loop it around the hinges, and again, another command strip under here, and then it goes back up to the other one. And, and again, a shake, rattle, and roll. This is a good hitch, but Ours has come apart in the past and it swings open and then and, and it starts to bang around. These hinges are just not designed to hold it if something happens and that, that mirror swings open. So there's that. Well, I guess it's just as good a time to end, as, end it as any. You guys take care. Be safe. We'll catch you down the road. Have a good one. You know, as a bit of a post log, I wanted to add this part too. You know, the most frustrating thing that we've discovered with our Globe Trotter. And it's just frustration. It's just laziness, not paying attention to what's what. Is which light goes to what? You've got the outside door light. You've got this light. You got that light. This dims. There's a light switch there, and, and whatever. It's just absolutely frustrating. You click and you click and click and click, and every light comes on except the one you want. And I just, I mean, I can get a label. We probably will. But it's just really, in my mind anyway, there's just no sanity to the uh, system there. If I'm missing something, and I probably am, let me know, but it's just so frustrating. Let's start pushing buttons and buttons and buttons, and I should have my awning off. You push buttons and buttons and buttons, and uh, nothing works. So anyway, so I'd share that with you. 